know, I feel like everything's just like falling into place and now I'm getting a little bit nervous, but like excited nervous to go to Japan. I'm like, oh my God, it's finally happening. You know, like we're actually gonna go and I'm like, ah. I don't know, just really enjoying my time. I'm really, really blessed that I got to come to Texas for so long, literally like two months. So I'm very, very happy. Hello, 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 and welcome back, everybody. I'm here with my puppies. I'm back here with my puppies. I'm back here with my parents. I have been going back and forth from San Antonio to Laredo literally like crazy. Like every other day, I'm back here in Laredo, but it's just because I'm trying to make the most out of coming to see my parents before I leave to Japan because it is three years in Japan. They are planning a visit, but obviously it's way less than you would see each other in like in the States. So I really just want to make the most of my time here. I want to see all my family this time around. Hopefully I can do like a little get together with them or I just want to spend the most quality family time that I can next week or in like three days I'm going back to San Antonio so it's a lot of going back and forth and I am now spending my birthday here in Texas so originally I was supposed to spend it in Japan but you guys know everything about my ticket was all messed up so I'm staying here for my birthday which is October 29th and I'm so excited I already have like a little dinner planned with my friends well, let's sit. and I'm really really happy because I don't know I guess I had no expectation really because it was gonna be just me and Henry and I don't know I didn't really know what I was gonna do so we're just gonna go eat some sushi in honor of us moving to Japan <laughs> and I actually need to choose my outfit because I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna wear but I'm really really happy I feel way more relaxed I'm still super exhausted just because you know sleeping everywhere like moving a lot it's just it's just tiring as it is yeah I'm still really tired hey homegirl you miss me did you miss me mama I miss you too anyways it's still really tiring so I'm just kind of like I don't know I guess getting myself back on track but I do feel a lot better ever since I found out that I got my ticket to Japan I just like a huge weight lifted off of me and I still till right now we're still not taking the dogs but that also kind of lifted a huge weight off of me because the flight for them no, like, oh, because the flight for them was gonna be so rough like Lola was gonna go in the cargo for like 14 hours and it's really a lot so if we eventually ship them out in a different way I'll have more time now to like search and see how much it is maybe earn some money before our neighbor's dog so we can get some money before you know doing all that and investigate a little bit more because right now we're kind of just throwing them in there and there we go so I feel I feel like God has this plan for us for me and Henry to just be in Japan by ourselves for a little bit You know to actually be able to enjoy it because with dogs It is a lot of work, you know, and we obviously don't know a lot of people over there We still have miles our roommate. He's moving over there, too, but he's not living with us Okay, everyone keeps asking us and that was once in a lifetime love you miles But that was once in a lifetime. All right, it's just me and my husband now So yeah, I'm just really really excited for what it, what is to come and I just really want to be in the moment Enjoy my time here and just like just relax, you know, like stop thinking so much stop thinking about the future i just want to be present in the moment because you never get this back so that's the plan of this vlog we'll see how it goes because you know you make plans and god laughs at you it's a quote that i saw something like that so we'll see where everything heads right now i'm just really happy to be back home and i'm just gonna enjoy my time here and do everything that i need to do and enjoy my parents really i just want to enjoy my family here we are <laughs> came to this um, ramen spot here in Laredo. Slurpin ramen? I've never had it. My mom came last time with Luisa, but we're like the only ones in here. <laughs> I got uh, something I never get, so. Spicy tonkotsu, tonkotsu, some of that. Look at that. Mmm, that looks so delicious. Here, my dad's over here, by the way. Rico, si sa rico, no? We got teriyaki chicken, my mom got spicy miso, which is what I told her I always get. I think he said the only it's difference with this is that it gets cooked in like broth, pork broth. I don't really know. And I'm practicing my, my chopstick. Oh. That's spicy. I don't know how to hold my chopsticks, okay? So don't judge me. Spicy. I like the spoon. Not my favorite part, but it's good.
suitcases for me, but I can't see the suitcases. I think I'm gonna get these carry-ons for me and Henry because we don't have carry-ons right now. And this is my model. to buy all this stuff right now at H-E-B. Mm, we bought manchego, no, manchego cheese, six months old. 12, 12 months old. Because the older it is, like the more pigmented. No, six months. Mm -hmm. The more pigmented the taste is. I don't know if pigmented is the right word, but. Mm -hmm. The stronger it is basically. Oh, no, oh my goodness, this. We haven't tried this. It's so good. This whole combination. Have you seen like ratatouille? That's me right now. She really wants something, huh? She's really asking for it. I don't think so. except for my tia titi. She's the only one that always asks me how to do it. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So I've been using this that my mom bought me and these are actually so good. So this brand, the shampoo and then the conditioner are literally so good. So I shower with these. And I think it's also the Texas water because ever since I moved here, like my hair has been better. I use those in the shower. It's already showered. And then when I get out, I use this Shia, Shia Moisture, which is super popular everywhere. I literally, every time I Googled like something about curling hair, this one always came out. So I put a good amount. <laughs> I put like around like that much. And I literally just go in there. Okay, I just put my hair over here and I literally just scrunch. This is my hands because I don't have a, I usually do use a little towel, but I don't have it with me right now. So I use some of this, um, the Jisoo, which this one, I'm not sure if it's actually been working out or not. But I bought it, so I'm just going to use it. It was like $45 and I don't think this one was worth it. I think I need the other one that they sell. I'm not sure what it is, but it's more of like an oil and this is more like a serum. So I think I need the oil instead. But I still use it to like protect my curls. And I think it has helped like my dead ends. So I think I have way less. It is doing something. I just don't think it's doing something worth $45 for that little bottle, in my personal opinion. And I use this one, which I literally bought from like TJ Maxx. It's just like a random, a random gel. I don't use that much. I only use like this much. And I do the same thing. I just scratch. And that's really it. And then I wait for it to dry. It's really not that big of a deal. I think what's made the most difference is really the shampoos. Like these shampoos are so good. I'm gonna ask my mom to send me some over there when I move because like what? I don't scratch too much because then I get too many like flyaways so that's the curling hair routine that no one asked for like comment subscribe and then now that i'm in a little haul for my face i've been using this one still which i think it's what's kept me from like not breaking out because i've been you guys know eating literally like so bad i did break out a little bit before my period but that's normal like my little um here my what is this called in my forehead but other than that like oh yeah it's just patented so i think this has really really helped me because i was having really bad skin before this and then i ran out of my usual one but i bought this sunscreen and i do think it's really good i usually don't like the oil free ones because i have problems with drying my face but i think this one's actually very light on my face so far i like it and then this one that i literally always always have i love this one so much it's so moisturizing and so like soft and i don't think it like affects my makeup i feel like it goes on smoother when i have a uh, sunscreen on and that lotion i'm just gonna let it dry a little bit and then i do my makeup which i won't show you guys because i feel like i've shown you like me doing my makeup so much but Good morning. 
so yesterday i had a going away little gathering with my family and it was really really nice i'm still gonna see some of my family but half of it i'm not gonna see anymore so i said goodbye to them yesterday and my time here in laredo has been very very nice i'm really really happy that i came i don't know i feel like everything's just like falling into place and now i'm getting a little bit nervous but like excited nervous to go to japan i'm like oh my god it's finally happening you know like we're actually gonna go and i'm like I don't know, I've just really enjoyed my time. I'm really, really blessed that I got to come to Texas for so long, literally like two months. So I'm very, very happy. And I just love being outside in the yard. <laughs> it's like my favorite place to be. So I just feel very blessed with everything that's happened to us. And I know that we're gonna be okay. And I'm so excited for like the next journey. Like, oh my God. I guess actually having my ticket makes me feel like it's real now, even though I've known about it for literally like a year. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really happy. I'm just very, very blessed. <laughs> I just journaled a bit and basically when I journal I just thank God for everything he's done for me it's just like a thankful list of um, things I've forgotten about because sometimes and I guess things happen and you're grateful for them but if you don't actually acknowledge them then they kind of just like go by you know because a day like in the day so many things happen so I just literally started writing down things that happened to me in these past few months here in Texas and it's just been it's just been amazing and I'm just very very thankful for literally my family I've got to see so much of my family literally like all of my family all of Henry's family I've got to see my friends I'm still gonna see my friends you know I've got to be with my dogs I've got to leave them in a really loving home which is my parents home like there's nothing best that could have happened like me having to leave my dogs the fact that I'm back home it's just it's just a blessing you know like I don't have to worry about them I know they're gonna be taken care of I know like I can see them whenever I know I can come back if I actually choose to take them later on then I know my parents will do it I don't know I just feel so blessed and then I also like in business I did so many things with business related here because with my parents i mean my dad has a business here so we worked a lot while i was here in laredo and then also like opening up my own little spot for sam's angels even though it's a little spot it's already starting to sell things that hadn't been selling on the website so i'm just really really excited because i i guess i hadn't seen everything that i have like i'm literally so blessed and also my husband like we've been doing so good with all this stress we've been actually handling it really really good and allowed ourselves to like yes be stressed but also take in the time that we have here with people so i feel like we've actually done both so i don't feel like regrettable now that i'm finally you know being able to have my ticket and know when i'm gonna leave and stuff so i just feel so good because i feel like we didn't waste no time even though we were stressed we still went out there we still saw family we still enjoyed i went to dallas with my cousin i met her baby like i've just done so many things and i just feel so grateful for everything that i have and i'm just so grateful that i'm able to you know bounce back and forth between san antonio and laredo and see henry's family and my family and my friends his friends and keep on making plans you know being able to afford this financially i'm just very very blessed and very happy also my my voice is rest because i just woke up so you guys are the first people i've talked to today oh yeah i'm just very very blessed i don't even remember what else i wrote oh yeah obviously i'm thankful because i'm leaving to japan like that's just insane never in my life did i think that i was gonna go to japan like i never even thought before henry i never thought of like traveling to japan <laughs> like not that i didn't want to i just never it never even crossed my mind so obviously i'm super excited to go live in japan and go just experience everything like if you guys know of any fashion i know they do like tokyo fashion week like in paris so i do want to go to that i know they have a bunch of like thrift stores but i've heard the thrift stores are basically just like american things overpriced in japan so i just want to go see all the fashion i know they have a bunch of thrift stores for like really high-end brands like louis vuitton chanel um prada all that stuff look at my little baby <gasps> say hi manuela say like comment subscribe Say, I'm just really, really excited for everything that's to come. Oh my goodness, I can't say Manuela without the big one coming. Look at my baby, I'm gonna miss you the most. This is my soul in a dog. This is like who I would have been if I was a dog. Like, this is the love of my life. I freaking, I love her so much. And I'm gonna leave her, but it's okay, it's okay. I'll be back. Tell him, she'll be back. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm here with my grandparents. Loving life, living lavish. Oh, I freaking love her so much. <laughs> Manuela, you're my best friend and I'm gonna miss you so much, but I love you so much. You're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be back in a couple years, girls.
bless you anyways i'm just rambling now i'm just very 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 grateful very thankful to god thankful to you guys you guys have helped me so much and kept me sane because literally like all of your comments all of your things that you leave me like all the tips i do read everything and i do take it into account you know i actually think about it i try to do it i try to apply it in my life so thank you guys so so much i love you guys so much we're gonna be leaving in japan guys like we're actually going i love you guys i'm just gonna go enjoy the rest of my day i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it was kind of short because i just kind of enjoyed the time with my family i vlogged some things some things i just kind of lived so i know it was just me basically talking this vlog but i really am just very happy very thankful and i do feel like myself again which is it's been a while i'm still tired but i'm feeling so much better already like i don't know i'm just i'm just very blessed very happy and i love you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe because we're almost at 3,000 to what are we 3,300 something like that i don't even know but i love you guys so so much please comment down below something that you're grateful for today if you got this far and i'll see you guys in my next vlog love you guys